Hello and welcome to Tech Baffle. This is the Christmas special with Shannon, who you can follow on TikTok at that ginger geek ninety eight. We're going to be doing the Tech Baffle Tat Baffle. Now this is very exciting. Me and Shannon have been into town. Here's some footage of us in town getting absolutely soaking wet in the rain. We're on the hunt for the best Christmas things. And we had pasta. The idea behind this is that we had the tech baffle budget of £30 each. We had absolutely no idea what the other person was buying. Who goes first? Oldest person in the room. Oh, does that mean that Shannon's not confident with her first tech baffle tat baffle product? No, I am. I just want you to go first. Am I just going to win? Leave your comment in the comment. Happy Christmas. <laughs> Happy Christmas. Anyway, enough of that. Up first, we have... Ow. <laughs> Okay, maybe the tech baffle tap baffle is getting a bit aggressive already. Blood will be shed. From B&M. But it wasn't £7 because I got it reduced down to £4. A Nordic Ice Light Up Tree Topper. Oh, it does work. <laughs> Were you expecting it not to yeah. work? That would be a very tragic start, wouldn't it? You can actually see it works quite well. It's pretty dry. But one thing I forgot to mention, the batteries aren't included to actually switch it on. So if you just want to use the try me button, you're all good. But you want to stick this on top of your tree. So you do need to get some batteries separately. You could always cut the bottom of the box and just, yeah, but the just thing is you'd have it. to You'd have to get an elf or something to constantly press the button. Mm, true. And they're quite expensive, I've heard. <laughs> oh, that is my expected. It kind of reflects inside of the star. It's kind of 3D, look. It's pretty inside. nice, to be fair. Seven pounds down to four pounds of the tech baffle tap baffle budget. <laughs> What's going to be my sparkly tree topper? <laughs> it's an elf out with it. It's, what do you want? This was from Poundland. It has this. It has this red trim. It has a it's very, nice. very cheap pom-pom. <laughs> You're supposed to be selling it. Feel that. <laughs> oh, that's horrible. <laughs> Not quite as nice as my pom-pom. That doesn't do that. But I um, saw this and thought of you. So how much did you spend of the Tech Baffle tap baffle budget this was a do you want me to wear it yep oh my god this is gonna be brilliant <laughs> do i wear it oh yeah wear it over my ears it's actually quite comfy please wear that to work <laughs> that is a look that is definitely a look it actually kind of suits you <laughs> i mean i suit anything i am basically a model hmm. comes with added bonuses you can rub the ears onto it's microphones quite big. is it comfortable it's massive. Just don't touch the pom-pom, you're all good. Up next in the Tech Baffle Christmas Tech Battle. Hey! <laughs> Nailed it! We have this geezer. It is Santa Claus, which is a sound pet. Santa isn't a pet. He is in this form. He is definitely a pet. He's got sparkly shoes. That is quite jazzy, to he be fair. He has legs, but no hands. He just rolls around all like, This was from Pound Stretcher, but you can buy this on eBay. Tech Baffle links in the description. Are you ready? I'm just pointing the microphone at him. I'm not going mad. He's already gone mad. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. I don't know why he says it twice. Doesn't sound very enthusiastic, does he? That was lovely. That was terrifying. He's still singing. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Get off. This little geezer is from B and M. He's a penguin placeholder. To place hold your penguins. <laughs> <laughs> he has a Christmas jumper on and a hat, and he is blooming adorable. Is he ceramic? Yeah. It has to have a bit of weight in to actually hold the card or whatever you got, so that's actually quite nifty. Hefty. It says it was £2, he was down to a pound. Shout out B&M Christmas sale. Way. Way. There's a reindeer in the set, a Santa. Nice I mean, I pay £2 just because I have a thing about penguins. He's very embarrassed, though. Look, why did you make him blush like that? <laughs> But I have a thing about penguins, so I see a penguin, I buy it. <laughs> She's a bit weird. 
No, penguins are just lovable animals at Christmas time. That's I can't funny. really talk. I'm literally wearing a oh, yeah. penguin jumper. Hey. Hey, it's the same jumper, look. We're going with this oh, one. Oh, no. <laughs> we're going with this one. That's what we're going for. Oh, I find one of the pig them blankets one. This one looks absolutely revolting. And I'm not even... I'm trying to sell it. No. James, shut up. This is the best flavour of crisps you can ever have. It's Christmas pudding flavour. Mm. This might actually be quite nice. I'm surprised I didn't say Christmas pudding. <laughs> Tis the season for sharing. I will share them with the rest of town if they are disgusting. Thank you. <laughs> Where'd you? Where'd you? Oh, God. I've got these in Poundland, actually. £1.25. <laughs> Well, you can buy these on Amazon if you're interested. Tech Baffle links in the description. Uh, that is the appearance of the crisp itself. But uh, let's give them a taste. It does taste like a ready sorted crisp, which you've just sort of mashed a Christmas pudding into. I feel like the Grinch. Am I just eating because I'm bored? <laughs> I mean, they're not horrible. They're not nice. What have you got next? It's another food one. Gingerbread fudge. Gingerbread flavour, all butter fudge with candied ginger. Ooh. I mean, it was only fitting. I get ginger. This was from Poundland. Ooh, I and it what? was a pound. They had another flavour. It was cranberry and orange. Shit. Unfortunately, there's only half a box. <laughs> <laughs> you get a close up for the camera. Who wants the first piece? You. This is what we are trying. I'm just getting fudge. <laughs> it's nice. I thought it would be stronger, like the ginger. Where is the ginger? <laughs> Jeff, if you're watching, it tastes a bit like Scottish tablet. Like, if you have like a ginger biscuit, it's very gingery, isn't it? Mm. Well, if you have a ginger girlfriend, it's very gingery. Who you can follow on TikTok at that ginger geek 98 She even has it in her TikTok name, just in case you forgot. No, I don't. That ginger geek 98 Yeah. Ginger. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's embarrassing. <laughs> this is elves behaving badly. <laughs> <laughs> now, you've probably seen these all over the internet, so I have two of the buggers. Generally, there's two of them doing something stupid. Getting up to no good, like... <laughs> Breaking the studio. And doing whatever he's doing. Ow! <laughs> the idea behind these is that you can get your elves to do things that are a bit naughty, because this is a vinyl-faced naughty elf. The story behind them is that they were sent down from Father Christmas to keep an eye on kids in the lead-up to Christmas. They come down on the 31st of November to look after the kids and make sure they are behaving, and then they depart on the 24th of December, just in time for <laughs> Santa to deliver all the presents to the kids and they're not to be seen again until the following year. It's based on a book, Elf on a Shelf. I was really listening to that. So they basically have Velcro hands. You can do different poses. I like how they sit up. <laughs> oh, what? Oh, that my God. It's like so someone has done like a giant turd made out of tinsel. It is a tinsel tree hat. It was from Poundland Shocker. And it was also one pound. It has that. I need because... to open it, but tinsel always keeps falling off it. <laughs> oh, I'm actually cutting the hat. Five minutes later. We have a hat. I don't know why I'm excited, because you're going to put this on my head. A glue coming off it. Fluff coming off it. Joe Ashen, if you're watching, I will send this to you. I'm headphones off. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> this is also a contender for work. I mean, that is fashion. If you're going to, like, a party, a dinner... If I wear it, I'm going to look like a carrot. No. <laughs> you can't just say that and then not do it. Oh, my God, I love it. <laughs> I look so cool. <laughs> this is um, Gucci. You can, if you want to be cool, you can wear it on the side. So we just got for uh, a spot of lunch. My choice, penne with bacon and mushroom and loads of cheese. And Shannon's. For cheese. Cheese, cheese and cheese and cheese. <laughs> I love cheese. <laughs> she, she likes cheese. Let's try it. Mm. 
Hello. You're wondering who's going to win the tech baffle tap baffle. The answer is, it's you. You're the one who has to vote. So let us know in the comments. And also, I have a poll. Comment your favourite Christmas emoji. Size doesn't always matter, does it, Shannon? Zoom in, it will look bigger. <laughs> Usually the Santa things are about double the size, but we'll let Kinder Claws off if it tastes like Kinder Chocolate. I mean, it's Kinder, so... 10 out of 10. If you know me, you know Kinder. One very important thing, though. We see what it looks like in the wrapper, but what does it look like without the wrapper? Does it look like a phallic symbol? Oh. They're actually quite detailed. Quality. So there's only one thing to do now. Oh. The inside is like a Kinder egg. So you've got the white chocolate and the milk chocolate. Mm. Mm. It's worth shooting myself over. Lactose. <laughs> Kinder Claws, you did well. It tasted really nice. It's like a giant Kinder Egg. What does Shannon have to bring to the table? We'll go for this. What is that? <laughs> this is a honeycomb angel decoration. Oh, of course it is. I should have known. <laughs> <laughs> um, I got it from Pound Stretcher. I think it was two ninety nine, which All right. is a bit pricey. Can you eat it? No, oh. I don't even. Know. I like honeycomb. So you have to make it. Oh no. No, it's very simple. Take it out of the packet. Shannon versus double-sided tape. Oh, whilst Shannon's doing it, I can entertain myself. To assemble, open up the angel. And secure to make a beautiful decoration. There is glitter everywhere. Get the elf off me head. Oh, oh wow. That is, yeah, it's that is actually thought. really cool. <laughs> I think that's a good contender. <laughs> that's tricky, though, because this one just looks cool and the other one tastes nice. Quite weighty, though, but... Yeah, because you do hang this on your tree. On it can go in your window display. I mean, it is quite big as well as, like, the size of my head. Which is massive. <laughs> it's Elf on the Shelf. But what is it? But it's like Paramount's take on Elf oh, on the Shelf. Oh, Villa Mallow? I actually got one with the best face on. Some of these had hilariously bad faces. <laughs> That's a good face. <laughs> Turner's confectionery. I swear the people that do the chocolate misshapes, they're like chocolates that were rejected in the factory and Ooh. you get a bag of them. They used to do them in Poundland, I don't know if they still do them. Don't look elves, this is not one of you. That's been turned into a mallow. <laughs> oh, you missed the cows. I love cows. This is the geezer himself. It could the be cheeky girl. elf. Been up to no good. Who gets the first bite? Wow, you're, you're brave. <laughs> Seductive, eh? Ooh, slow motion. <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> Ooh, seductive. I thought you were doing that on purpose. I didn't realise it was actually that chewy. Very important information here. Adult supervision recommend. <laughs> <laughs> that thing of nightmares. Get on with your next item for the tech baffle. Tat baffle. So, the only way to contend with food is food. So these are Merry <gasps> Dinkies. <laughs> Merry Dinkies are Poundland's version of Percy Pigs. <laughs> right. So Dinky is the dog instead of being a pig. They are strawberry and vanilla soft gummy sweets. Ho, ho, ho. Flavoured from fruit juices. It's ve vegan friendly. So they're, ah. they're vegan. Extra uh, points for that. One pound. But they do them all year, but these are the Christmas ones. So I've never had these. I've had the Percy Pigs. Dog shaped? Kind of looks like Marley. The white is vanilla and the red is strawberry. Mmm, I can taste the fruit juices. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're lovely. <laughs> I mean, you can taste the vanilla. Yeah. That's all you can taste. I'm disappointed by that. <laughs> this is Sticker Sprout from Poundland. It's a game. It's a hat with free sprouts. I'm glad to say you are old enough to play this. Oh, wow. <laughs> so we have free sprouts, some fluff, and a hat. And the idea is that you catch the sprouts wearing the hat. Shannon's going to be the model. Oh, and I'm going to yeet Brussels sprouts at her. What more could you want? Such amazing quality. How do I look? <laughs> You look great. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. Ah, okay, I wasn't expecting that to work for this time. <laughs> Boo! Okay, we got one Brussels sprout on their head. Yay! The top of the hat gets 25 points, and the edge of the hat gets 10. Can Shannon <laughs> beat my score of 25? Yay! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Quite up thinking that I've made this easier for you. Please. Okay, so on this occasion, <laughs> Shannon got 50. Here he is. Oh. 
So this is a raccoon from the Little Adver. How save Christmas, basically. You're really selling it. Where it was 50% off. Ooh, so how much was he? He was £2.49. He is amazing quality. Oh, right. Yeah, he is as well. He's very soft. He is adorable. Has two eyes, a nose. That's lucky. A mouth. A little, little logo on his hat. Petit plaisir de Noël. Apologies if he's just offended anyone in a different language. What are you going to call him? Idol. So if you take the L away from little, it's idol. I'm a sucker for a good Christmas advert. And the little one this year got me. But is it better than the little East 17 song? I know, you were crying about it earlier. Oh my God, this this advert's really (laughs) gay to me. Little Plus saved my life. Did you use Little Plus to get your little Christmas surprise? No. So last but not least, we have Levano. Christmas scene with LEDs and music. Oh, okay. it includes batteries. There's an illuminated scene with Christmas music with Santa Claus and the teddy bears. I think they had like a couple of different designs you could choose from. Indoor use, six hour timer. So inside the box we have instructions. So this is Santa. I thought it was a dog, it's a little bear. I like the teddy bear. But it's very detailed out of the trees, isn't it? Hmm. Very cool indeed. So what happens when you turn him on? Jingle bells, jingle all the way. <laughs> what was that? Oh, we're still going. Wish you a yeah, merry six Christ- hours. Oh, this is going to be a long video. Oh, fun fact. There's two modes. On one, which is just a light. No. Oh. Look at the lad there carrying his parcels with very small trees, I must add. Santa <laughs> the giant. I have saved my best to laugh. So this is my um, baby. He's mean, he's green, and he ain't no machine. <laughs> it's the Grinch. <laughs> but he's not just any Grinch. This is from Primark. And he has a button in the back of his head. You may be wondering, why does the Grinch have a massive button at the back of his head? Yeah. <laughs> Can I press it? Nah, he's tapping the microphone. <laughs> he's singing into the microphone. <laughs> we love him so much. <laughs> when we first turned this on, I almost think we got kicked out of Primark because we were just absolutely pissing ourselves laughing. I don't know why it was so funny just watching him going around the shop dancing. <laughs> People kept coming over to us asking if we needed help. Literally just watching him brings me happiness. He's like instant joy. The Grinch is my favourite Christmas film. £19. Money well spent. (laughs) That was the Tech Baffle Christmas Tap Battle. Who won? Was it James or Shannon? Me. Me. It was me, lads. I think Tech Baffle definitely won the Tech Baffle Tap Baffle. Tap Battle. I can't even say it. If you win... I'm going to say it's a fix. But let us know in the comments. We can't decide. You have to decide. So let us know in the comments who won the Tech Baffle Tap Battle. We're really not um, missing the Tech Baffle Magical Mystery Box. It gets shivers down your spine just thinking of that thing. That was horrible. We saved the day and kept the Magical Mystery Box away. If you've seen any interesting things in this video, check out the Tech Baffle links in the description where you can buy them from a variety of online and offline retailers. If you enjoyed this video, smash that like button if you want any more of this sort of thing. Don't forget to subscribe and ding so you don't miss a thing. I'm on social media. Follow me at Tech Baffle. A big thanks to Shannon for participating in this year's Christmas special. You can go ahead and follow her on TikTok at thatgingergeek98. Thank you for having me and it's been great to be part of the channel this year. I didn't force her to say that. (laughs) For latest, head over to techbaffle.com. Thanks for watching and have a baffling baffling day. day. Merry Merry Christmas! Christmas. Ho, ho, ho! Happy Christmas! (laughs) 